Well, welcome back to the channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me today. I know there's not been many videos uh, for a while, but yeah, you know, work commitments and the usual sort of uh, waffle. But I'm out on the CCM, nevertheless, and we're going to discuss, well, what I, what I think and what a lot of other owners will think, uh, you know, the changes that seem to be happening within the CCM um, company brand, if you like. Um, but yeah, we're out anyway. Lovely countryside today. Absolutely love this uh, route here. Uh, that's a, the perks of living out here in North Norfolk. So uh, yeah, I mean uh, she's in her glory. It's very cold today, probably about three degrees actually. So quite brave coming out on her today. But yeah, let's fire her up. We'll jump on and we'll have a little discussion about yeah, you know my thoughts and uh, like I said about just some things that seem to be going on, um, which may or may not be you know good or even bad I don't, I don't know we'll we'll discuss that anyway and uh you know we might give you my thoughts on that so we'll fire her up anyway she actually started up she's not been stuck fired up for a long while and she fired up absolutely lovely to be fair um i went done the usual method of sort of priming the bike up really with the you know the key fob on the side and then you turn it off and back on again anyway enough about that Sounds wonderful. Right, we'll jump on and uh, yeah. Well, I hope you had a good Christmas and New Year anyway. Uh, I'm glad it's all done and out of the way, to be honest. A <laughs> uh, little bit of a yui here. Oh, sun's coming out. That's what I like to see. Might notch it up a degree. But yeah, uh, I'm still it. I'm still absolutely. Um, you know, enjoying the bike. Look, I haven't really been out that much. I think it's probably only done now about a, hundred, uh, a thousand mile near near enough. But you know, so I'm still having fun on it. But I thought today I'd come out and talk about my views on you know some of the things that are going on. Which are the first thing I want to talk about really is when they first made these machines, they were limited numbers. Uh, this one being two seven five of three hundred. Now. <laughs> that seems to have gone by the wayside really because what they've done and I've recently well today actually before coming out I looked on the website to see what uh, you know what's going on they're actually calling this bike a roadster on the website and I'm pretty sure if I remember rightly it was 12,495 that's for the basic standard model no extras, nothing. You want twin discs, that's probably about another £1,500. Levers, that all adds up. And you, you go and configure your bike on there, it works out a lot of money. So really, they seem to have jumped up so much in, uh, you know, in the, co in the cost. It's unreal. So that's my number one thing I want to sort of talk about. I mean, it, it'll probably work well you know for the second hand market of bikes I mean, my existing owners who have bikes already yeah uh, hopefully uh, like me like myself you know I didn't pay that sort of money for it but will that really will that affect you know are they selling as many bikes as what they were before I don't know I can't imagine so not you know it's a lot of money isn't it um, well and also another thing is, thing is is CCM don't seem to be offering that you know at home service where they come to your house which it's another perk really or another reason why a lot of people may be drawn to uh, you know to owning one of these bikes um, it did me uh, I mean I'm not too worried I, lots, I'm fairly mechanically minded well I am mechanically minded so um, I don't I other than not having the stamp in the book, you can service the bike yourself. They're very simple to do. Very simple to do. So it wouldn't really bother me too much that. But it is always nice to have that stamp in the book. Of course. But that all comes at a premium. But yeah, going back to the subject, they, they don't, I don't think they're coming to your house to do the, the service. So that's, that's another downside. And what they have done is that I think there's like... Because being a CCM customer, they, e they do email you. And they do seem to have got better at that recently. But they email you... Um, you know, like updates and things like that. I've had a few emails bounced to me. So, then they did say that, you know, there is 
certain dealers throughout the UK, well I say throughout the UK, <laughs> it all seems to be sort of like south of England, nothing up north I'm afraid at the minute by the looks of things, so if you're in Scotland you might struggle. But they've got sort of franchise dealers who will, um, you know, they'll, they'll service your bike and they'll stamp the book and so, so forth, but can you not go to any dealer and they'll do that anyway if you really wanted to, a VAT registered dealer, buy the buy the original uh, components, better turn that indicator off, uh, buy the, the uh, you know, the OEM components and what's the difference, what's the difference, um, but I think they're also, maybe, maybe they're stocking CCM bikes as well, what's going on here, Come on. But uh, that's just another little thing, but, but again, you know, uh, that's probably to your advantage. So if you wanted to test ride a bike, you, you could, you know, uh, uh, jump on one a lot easier now rather than not being able to and just going up to Bolton, where Bolton here in the UK, where these are based. But, you know, personally, I'm not sure, I'm not sure really. Oh, so it doesn't really bother me, me too much, but let me know in the comments below what you think. If you're an owner <laughs> and you, you know, your views on that, but yeah. I mean, another thing I will say though, most owners of these CCM bikes, trust me, they barely clog up any miles. So these a lot of them just sit in people's garages, they don't really do a lot. So this whole service thing isn't really that, 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 that sort of crucial. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, but I, I'm still enjoying the bike, I'm still happy. And if it does come to it, then I'll, yeah, of course I'd service the bike myself. I'd take the oil, drop the oil out, change the filters. Not a, not a problem at all, not a problem at all. And you've also got, obviously, that... Um, you know, minimal cost outlay as well. How much road do you want, sir? But yeah, I, uh, I don't know, I don't know. But I think the customer service has got a lot better than what it was, so yeah, that's always a, always a bonus. If you know, if you want to order any spares or any accessories, then it should make your life a bit easier now. But I don't know what's actually happened with it within the brand, the company. I don't know whether there was something's changed there. Let me know in the comments if you're more in the loop than me. I don't know. Car. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. I'd be much appreciated to have you along. <laughs> That's what I love about this. Bring it on. Lovely, bloody lovely. Nice to see the sun out today, I tell you. I mean, although it's probably, like I say, three degrees, it's not... It doesn't actually feel that cold, to be fair. I think it's going to get colder next week, but I'm really looking forward to the summer. There's lots of exciting new bikes out as well. Um, really got any plans on anything else at the moment but never really know in this day and age never really know I've had no issues with this so the dust off. But yeah, going back to the, you know, if you want to spec the bikes up, these bikes, Christ, if you go on the online and uh, 
realistic try it go on go on the website and start configuring your bike and you look at how the, how the cost racks up and now that bike being an being an extra oh, two thousand pounds on top yeah you're not you're not you're not you're not looking pennies here are you you're not looking pennies so um yeah i was quite surprised at that and i'm yeah, i'm not sure how they've got around that but you know because they, they sort of said didn't they before that they're in limited numbers for skunk works and look here it says here 275 or 300 you know i think they just put plates on the new ones now i think it just says limited limited edition i think i don't know let me know in the comments again if you know about that but thank you but yeah anyway that little just a little video there and uh, yeah thanks for joining me today and uh, hopefully i'll see you on the next video take care see you soon